What are your fears? What are you scared of? Because we all have fears, don't we? We all have something that's blocking us, that's holding us back. And as we begin to look at life, what we realize is that the reason that most people are not living out their true potential, are not doing all of the things that they would really like to do, is because of fear. Some people call fear false evidence or expectations appearing real. Most people go through life running scared. Running scared from things that have no teeth in them because they're false expectations appearing real. But see, we're brilliant enough to scare ourselves to death. You realize that? And there are some people actually who get a kick out of scaring themselves to death. I remember the last frightening movie I saw. It was The Exorcist. I will never forget. How do you stop making excuses? This is actually pretty simple. And I said it the other day, and you have to realize, you have to know, you have to accept that all your excuses are lies. They are lies, all of them. Think about the things that you tell yourself, the lies you use to rationalize taking the easy road. Taking the easy road and leaving discipline behind. Think about them. The reason I want to help you is I am you. Let me tell you what everybody's dream is. Put it in your note. I don't care if you sell pest control, security, solar, insurance. I don't care what it is. You want to be happier. You got to link everything to people's happiness. You say, that's incredible. That's ridiculous. So I'm going to kill some termites. They're going to be happier. Let's go. I don't care what level you're at. I'm talking to me as much as I'm talking to you. You're afraid to knock the door. You're afraid to go for it because cab driver number two in your life might reject you. How about you start playing the game for the main characters? That's who you play the game for. At some point, you got to stop negotiating the price and decide your will to win is not for sale. Most people's dreams can be bought with enough failure, with enough rejection. They can't still fight. They'll take, they can get a little bit, but when it gets a little too hot, they go, boom, buy the dream. You can have it. It's not worth it to me. And their will to win is buyable. You can buy it. Some of you have sold it because you're making a little bit of money. You don't work like you did when you were making nothing. You're not after it like when you were broke. Some of you will sell your win for some failure. You're probably viable. But if you decide at this meeting, my will cannot be bought. I don't care how long it takes, you can't buy this dude out. I'll keep fighting. I'm going to change my family tree forever. That's the decision. Decide now. You're going to keep negotiating the price or can you not be bought?